We're here on YouTube. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Action Jacqueline, and welcome to my YouTube channel, uh, where I help you feel amazing in your body, skin, and mind. Today, I am doing a anxiety relief meditation and breath work. So I want to get into what does that mean? How is this going to work? So we are going to not only stretch our bodies, but we're going to stretch a very specific muscle today. Uh, can anyone guess what that muscle is? So it's a muscle that helps you breathe. Well, it is the primary breathing muscle. Can anyone guess which muscle that is? I would love to see if you can guess what it is. Um, I know it's like super delayed, so I'm just gonna have to, I'm just gonna have to give it away. Um, yes, the diaphragm, someone got it over here on Instagram, awesome. Yes, the diaphragm, Lindsay, yes, got it. Perfect, yes. So did you know that you can actually stretch the diaphragm and you can strengthen the diaphragm? Okay, yes, I got a lot of diaphragm. So did you guys know that? So um, when you strengthen and stretch your diaphragm, you are improving your uh, breathing capacity. So this next little section that we're going to be doing together, this class that I'm giving you guys today, is actually going to, uh, is basically like, going to the gym and doing cardio because cardio improves your cardiovascular health uh, and improves your endurance, right? So we are actually going to be doing that today, but you don't even have to go to the gym. Obviously, none of us can go to the gym, but you don't have to work up a sweat to improve your endurance and your cardiovascular health. So who's excited about that? <laughs> I am excited about that. When I learned that, I was like, oh, wow, awesome. I don't have to go and... Um, get super tired and sweaty on a treadmill, I can do these exercises that's going to help strengthen my diaphragm, um, improve my cardiovascular health, improve my endurance. And um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. And so the biggest thing about this is that it's going to not only improve your endurance, but it's also going to help relieve the anxiety that you might be feeling in your body. The number one way to improve your uh, your anxiety is to be present in your body. Um, that is the number one way. When you are present in your body, uh, anxiety cannot live. So anxiety can't be present when there is, um, uh, or yeah, anxiety can't be present when there's no um, when you're actually present. Can we can we turn this on? The light. Oh yeah, it's really dark. Okay, getting some some light here because it's a little it's a little cloudy today. I'm not sure why. Um, it was really sunny yesterday, so I'm hoping that the sun comes out today again. Um, so yeah, so when you are present and when you uh, really get in tune and connect with your body, then anxiety can't live. So I know this from experience. I suffered from really bad anxiety, so I know what it feels like to feel kind of out of control, to feel like your thoughts are running the show, and if you let your thoughts and your fear and your fear loops to run the show, then you won't be able to focus. You won't be able to use this time where, uh, use this time where you're home and everything for something that's beneficial for you. So today's class is all about getting present in your body and it's about getting present so that you can relieve anxiety so you can focus and you can be um, your best self, your absolute best self because why waste this time at home when you can be your best, best self? Okay, awesome. We've got some light. <laughs> Yay. Okay, now you can see me. All right, so who's excited about that? Who's excited about learning how to be completely present in your body and um, so that you can relieve the anxiety that you might be feeling and learn some tools that you can do on your own, even you know beyond this video, and also to improve your cardiovascular health and your endurance. So this is, you're going to strengthen your mind, you're going to strengthen the control that you have over your thoughts, and you're also going to be strengthening your body at the same time. So it's a complete mind-body session that is going to improve your day and your week. Super exciting. Okay, so 
Now let's, um, I want to show you this really interesting stretch. Okay. So this is how we are going to begin. We're going to begin by getting onto our mats right now. So we're going to stretch out the diaphragm, which is really amazing. I learned this first exercise. Let's see. Can you guys see me on YouTube? Let's see how far back I got to go. Maybe two out there. And let's lower this. Maybe that would be better. And then I can scooch this up. Okay. A lot of logistics here. Okay, so that is good. I'm going to close this because it's not too much direct light right there. All right, that's perfect. So in this exercise, I'm going to show you how to stretch the diaphragm. So I learned this one from Yoga Tune Up, and I absolutely love it. I fell in love because it is really, really effective. But I'm tying this up so that you can see my diaphragm. So you'll probably want to watch first before you do it on your own. So we're going to start on our backs. Feet are down on the floor and hips are down on the floor. Good, so you're going to inhale, you're going to lift everything up at the same time. And then we're just gonna practice doing this and then exhale, lower down. But eventually, we'll come all the way up. We're gonna hold here. So you're gonna have to take a big inhale in. And you see how my ribs flare up and out? That's good, you wanna do that. Then you're going to exhale at the top, keep the ribs open, and then lower the hips down. And then release. So it's, you can't really talk throughout this. So what I'm doing is I'm inhaling, I'm spreading the, the ribs really nice and open, and then I'm exhaling, keeping the ribs open, and you hold at the bottom of the exhale. And then as you lower down, you let the ribs open up, open up, open up, open up. And what that's doing is it's stretching the diaphragm and strengthening it at the same time. Okay, so let me show you one more time so I can't talk through it, so you just have to watch. So we're going to inhale all the way up, arms flex overhead. Exhale. and then inhale at the bottom. Okay, so do you guys have any questions about that? I know you were watching the demo before we actually did it. Let me know if you have questions, but I can feel that, right? It actually um, stretches and opens the diaphragm, but it also gives you like an internal massage because the way that it's, um, it creates impact in different areas of the body, you are creating um, uh, this, this motion throughout your, your abdominal core because your diaphragm connects to all, like it's, it's connected to all of these internal organs as well. So you're giving a nice massage here. It connects into your ribs. It connects, um, it connects, uh, into the, what's this called? <laughs> I forget right now. Um, but <laughs> this is going to be really good for all of the internal organs because it gives you like a nice little massage while it's stretching and opening. Okay. So join me here. Do you guys have any questions on that? Let's join me now on your backs. So we're gonna do this stretch first, and then we'll get into um, and then we'll get into the actual breath work meditation. Okay. So come onto your backs, lower all the way down with hips down and feet down, and spine is on the floor. Hands are gonna start just right by your sides, <clears throat> feet or hip distance apart. And then we're going to exhale the breath out. So you can breath, uh, breathe in and out through your nose. And then inhale, lift the hips up and lift the arms up. Let's just do that. Exhale down. Just so you can get the motion of the arms. Inhale, lift the hips up. So now your hips are in neutral. And then exhale, lower down. Again, inhale, lift up. Now hold here, exhale all the breath out, and then lower down. Okay. 
And then inhale at the bottom. Okay. How did that feel? Let's do that again. So inhale, lift up. Exhale. And inhale. All right. One more time and then I'll take questions. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. And release. Okay. So now that you've done it yourself, I'd love to get some questions from you. How is that? Did you feel the diaphragm stretching? Did you feel all the internal organs stretching? Uh, I want to get your feedback so I can help answer any questions. So it's really important that you do follow the breath cues where you inhale in and then uh, exhale. You hold the exhale out. Then you lower down and then the ribs expand even more as you hold that exhale. So um, how did that feel? Did you feel the stretch? If you felt the stretch, uh, type a one in the chat. Type a one in the chat if you felt the stretch, if you felt something happening going on in there. Um, yeah, the diaphragm is an incredible, incredibly powerful muscle. Stretch and breath flow easily, yeah. So this is something that you guys can do at any time throughout the day. If you're feeling anxious, that's definitely one breathing exercise where if you're feeling anxious, you're feeling a little bit frazzled by everything that's going on. What, why this is also great is because you're laying down on the ground. Anytime you are laying down on the ground, immediately you start to put your body into parasympathetic, which means that you are going into your rest and digest. Uh, your rest and digest is the place where you feel the most calm and the most relaxed. So uh, laying yourself down immediately, especially when you go all the way down to the floor on, um, on a mat, it just feels uh, so relaxing and you're closer to the earth. Anytime you get closer to the earth, you feel closer to nature and when you, and nature is so incredibly grounding. So just laying yourself down like that and taking these few breaths where you're lifting up and lowering down just like that nice and slow, you are definitely going to allow yourself to relieve a lot of that anxiety. You're going to feel present in your body like I talked about earlier. When you're present in your body, anxiety cannot live. So you have a choice. You have a choice on where your thoughts go. You have a choice in your mind. So I know right now life feels really constricted. It feels really limited. It feels controlled. But remember that you are in control of your mind. You are in control of your imagination, your creativity, your thoughts, your productivity. You can be super creative right now. You can be um, really in touch with your body and with your mind. So this is a great practice to strengthen that. Um, so that's the first exercise that we're doing. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I saw a lot of ones in the chat. A lot of you guys felt that. Any questions about it? Let's see. When you slowly lower down, are you exhaling? No. So when you're slowly lowering down, you are holding the breath the whole time. So you're inhaling up, exhale, then you pause at the top and then you stay, um, you stay, you stay with the exhale all the way out. So you suspend the breath there on the bottom and then you slowly lower it down. So with the, um, even with the hips elevated a little bit over the head, right in the bridge pose, that is also creating a parasympathetic um, state for yourself. So we're state changing, we're, we're controlling our emotional state change through the body. So remember that the body is an amazing tool and avenue for you to calm yourself down. Um, and if you're, especially if you're feeling anxious, get into your body, get into your body and out of your thoughts. It's going to be the best, best way to help relieve anxiety. Um, thank you for your tutorials. They're excellent. I'm so happy to hear that. Okay. So I just want to be conscious of time and let's move on to our next exercise, our next breathing exercise. So is this helpful? Is this helpful? Are you guys learning a lot. Type a two in the chat if this is helpful for you. Um, that one is uh, it's it's a 
it's part of like Uddiyana Banda, which as you guys know, Uddiyana Banda is like a, it's a breath lock. And I can go into this more. If you guys want more breath work from me, um, type a three in the chat. I always love doing the type, type a three in the chat. If you guys want more breath work from me, then type a three in the chat and I can go deeper into it next time. Um, and we can do more exercises for breath work because breath work is again, a, a way for you to get into your body, get present into your body so that you feel grounded and um, all of the thoughts, all the worries, all of the everything go away. And that's where you want to be. That's where you are strong. That's where you are healthy. That's where your body can uh, repair itself. It can restore itself. And we have to give our bodies a chance to do that. When we're running around like crazy and letting our thoughts run the show, we don't ever let our body do what it's meant to do, which is repair and heal itself. So our bodies are incredibly intelligent and we have to pay respect to our bodies and the fact that it can completely repair itself when you give it the chance to do so. Um, so that's what these exercises are about. So, um, and I'm all about, of course, um, working out. I love working out. Tomorrow we're gonna be doing a HIIT workout. So that'll be really fun, a completely different pace, right? Getting into your body a completely different way, but uh, they're, they're both effective. And I think slowing down is an amazing way to also get into the body. Okay, so now we're gonna go into a breath work called um, Nadi Shodhana. So Nadi Shodhana helps to balance the right and left side of the brain. Um, it's, it's a channel flow, it helps to, uh, helps to balance, right? So we're gonna be breathing from right and left nostril, and they say like right and left nostrils have masculine and feminine, so it helps to balance your energies, so masculine and feminine also helps to balance the right and left hemispheres of the brain um, because they cross over, so the right crosses to the left, left crosses over to the right. So we are balancing also the um, our brain hemispheres, and um, which helps us feel more calm, right? When you feel out of balance, you feel what? You feel out of control, you feel a little, you feel calm. So that's what this is also meant to do. Okay, so you're going to take your uh, your hand like this, and you're going to we're going to join all together in a really beautiful breath meditation. I actually do this. Um, breathing exercise when I'm on a plane if I ever feel anxious because obviously you can't do something like I just showed when you're traveling or out in public but I do this when I'm um, when I travel because it really helps to ground me and it helps me to just stay calm throughout the flight because you know flying can be scary sometimes I don't know how flight attendants do it um, <laughs> So props to all the flight attendants out there because I always get a little anxious. But okay, so you're gonna take your hands like this. So the two fingers are down, your fourth finger and your pinky are up and your thumb is out like this. Okay, so you are going to take your thumb and you're going to press it into the nostril and then the other um, finger, the fourth finger is going to press into the other nostril. So we're going to be going, um, we are going to be going alternating from side to side. All right, so you're going to press the thumb into the nostril. You're going to breathe in. Then you're going to close off both nostrils here, and then we'll hold for four counts. We'll just start with a square breathing, which means we'll inhale for four, hold for four, exhale for four, hold for four. So there's a lot of different ways that you can do the um, the Nadi Shodhana breathing. You can do it where you breathe in and out through one nostril and the other. There's a lot of different ways. Just today, we are going to keep it really simple and do the square breathing, which is my most favorite way to do it because it. I love the square because it feels balanced. It feels just neutral. It feels calming. So again, you're going to inhale in first through the left nostril. Hold the breath here for four counts. Exhale for four. Close it off, hold for four. And then again, go to the other side. Okay, a couple of notes there. Do you guys have any questions? I know it's delayed, so type your questions in the chat. 
and then we'll do it all together for three minutes. Um, a couple of things here. It, you are constricting the breath flow, which forces you to have to breathe beyond that, which means that it's another way that you can strengthen the diaphragm and strengthen your breathing muscles. So that's where the constriction happens. Another thing, especially all the ladies out there who wear leggings all the time, I'm definitely guilty of this. The leggings create a lot of constriction here in the belly, right? Um, so allow yourself to really let the belly go. Just really feel like you're going to breathe and like let it all go. I know it's like so tough for me to do that from having been a dancer for so long. I'm just like automatically always like pulling my core in, um, which doesn't really allow the diaphragm to move to its fullest capacity. So really, really um, allow the belly to expand on the inhale really like feel it drop down and relax. And that'll also help you feel more relaxed. Um, I, yeah, I always have a really hard time with it. I remember when I did my Kundalini training, um, I like couldn't let, I just, that's when I realized that I have a really hard time letting my belly go. Um, and that has a lot of emotional attachment to it, right? Like being a dancer and I'm like, no, I can't. Like, I feel like I judge myself when I, when I let it go. So yeah, there's there's that. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and begin. You guys have any questions? I didn't see any questions come through here. Okay, so let's start like this. So you're going to start with the thumb and the fourth finger like this. We're going to start with the thumb on the uh, right nostril. And I forgot to mention this. Go ahead and close your eyes. So now that you've seen it, make sure you're in a seated position. Go ahead and close your eyes. And um, before even taking your hand to your nose, just take a couple of deep breaths here with your eyes closed. With your eyes closed and roll your eyes up and in. So I like to roll them up and in so that they are at the third eye point. And that is your third eye, the gateway to your intuition. So allow the eyes to have one focus point so that they're not darting around. And that'll also help you feel more calm. So we're just allowing ourselves to get present in our bodies before we begin this breath work. And then keeping your eyes closed, notice where you are with your body in space. So notice where your head is, the top of your head in relation to your ears, in relation to your shoulders and your neck, and then your spine, your ribs and your hips. Ideally, you want to have everything stacked right over each other. Or you can think about the internal organs. Think about the crown of the head, the esophagus, the heart, the lungs, the lower belly. So think of all that just perfectly lined up exactly as it's meant to be. And then if your shoulders aren't relaxed down, then go ahead and... Let them go, just completely let them go. Allow them to relax in the body. And just breathing here slowly in and out through the nose. Just noticing right now how it feels to breathe, noticing the state of your body. All right, and then we're going to take the thumb onto the right nostril and take one complete breath through the left nostril, inhaling in, and then exhale all the breath out. Now we'll begin, inhale for four counts, for four, three, two, one. Close the both nostrils up for four, three, Two, one, release the thumb, exhale for four, three, two, one, close both off, hold for four, three, two, one, let go of the left for four, inhale, three, two, 
One, hold both nostrils, hold the breath. Three, two, one, release the right side for four, exhale. Three, two, one, plug the nose, suspend for four, three, two, one, inhale, left side, four, three, two, one, plug both sides, hold for four, three, two, one, exhale, right side, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, inhale, left side, four, three, two, one, hold, for four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, and then for this next minute, go on your own pace, counting for yourself. Ten more seconds. And then let the air go. Release the hand to the knee. Inhale in through the nose, taking a nice deep breath in. Just returning to your normal breath. And then notice your body and how you feel now. Just noticing how your energy feels. Noticing your thoughts, the difference in your thoughts. And then blink the eyes open. Ah, how did that feel? Oh my gosh, did that feel good? I'd love to hear in the chat, type in the chat, how, what, three descriptive words of how you feel now after you did this exercise, this breathing exercise. Calming, energetic. What are some other? More open in body, calm. Yes. I feel grounded. I feel at peace. I feel like no matter what comes my way today, that I will be able to handle it with strength and grace. I feel in control. I feel um, like everything is going to be okay. And um, it felt a little strange in the beginning, but now I feel calm and relaxed. Yes. <laughs> That's usually the journey for most of us, right? It does feel a little bit strange. And then um, I love that. And then it feels calm and relaxed. So noticing that, um, the, the transition that happens and it's it's it happens slowly sometimes going from feeling kind of weird to um to calm and relaxed um eddie oh no what happened <laughs> Lindsay? what happened there explain to me so if you felt if you felt 
uncomfortable throughout this, that is also normal. Constricting your breath is not, um, is, uh, can feel a little alarming. Uh, so the first couple times that I got into breath work, I felt a little bit, um, I felt anxious, almost like more anxious. Like I thought this was supposed to calm me down. Why is it making me more anxious? Um, yeah, so this is something that as you strengthen and you get uh, more used to it, you'll notice that it, it does become very, very calming. So um, that is totally normal for it to feel uncomfortable the first couple of times, especially if you are not used to breathing deeply. Um, then most of the times we stay in a very shallow breath. So when you're in a shallow breath, you're in your sympathetic. So it might make you feel uh, more anxious. So if you aren't breathing deeply all the way down, that's why I started in the beginning saying, make sure that you're really letting the belly go. You're really, really letting the belly drop open because you want to create room and space for you to expand and breathe deeply. If you're just kind of staying up here and your shoulders are relaxed, and that's why I also said to make sure that your shoulders are relaxed or your shoulders are tense. You want to relax your shoulders because then you might feel all constricted and it's breathing up here. So as you practice this more, you want to feel the breath, like the belly dropping and you're creating all this space in the lower belly, in the lower body. Um, so that's that's something to keep in mind. Um, let's see. I felt like I was suffocating a bit holding the last four counts at the end of each round. Yeah. So that probably just means that um, you're just not uh, just breathing deeply. Um, and it might feel, you know, for the first time controlling your breath might feel a little scary. Um, but it, it, you have to constantly be reminding yourself, like I'm the one in control. I'm the one who is, um, in control of this breath. And also that your next breath is right around the corner, right? It's four seconds. I know you can hold your breath for four seconds. Um, so lots of times these concerns and these, these stress triggers that come up, are um, notice them, watch them. They see if they play a role in other places of your life. When I started doing breath work, I didn't even like to close my eyes because I just felt so um, I felt so scared, uh, and that that had a lot to do with not feeling like I can trust my environment. And really, when I said that I can't trust my environment, it's really because I didn't feel like I could trust myself. So use this time as an introspective period to, um, to understand your responses, your trigger responses, because your trigger responses, I'm sure, are coming up in other places in your life. So just notice where else is that showing up in your life. Um, and it'll, it'll really help illuminate a lot of parts of your life which I love because it's like I can sit here and do this breath work and then I can realize, oh, wow, I, um, yeah, I'm stressing out. I'm, I'm creating this story in my mind that I can't breathe, that I can't, uh, that I'm, I'm anxious, but none of that's true, right? That's all, you know that that's not true. You know that you're going to breathe in just four seconds. Um, so just noticing these types of things. So was that helpful, Lindsay? Hopefully that, um, let me know if that was helpful and any of that landed with you. Uh, let's see. Good idea to not stand up too fast afterwards. Yeah, definitely don't stand up too fast afterwards. Um, please make full course on breath work. Interesting. Well, my courses do have um, breath work in it. So I do have a lot of breath work videos in my Stretchy Fit app. Um, okay, let me see. Uh, and let's see, I felt like I was, okay, I read that. Um, do you recommend a meditation video that you can recommend? So on my YouTube channel, I've got a bunch of meditations. So I definitely recommend going and checking out the rest of my YouTube channel because I've got a lot of meditations for you to do. Uh, let's see, please save this video for us to watch later. Yes, this will be saved. So everyone on Instagram, head on over to YouTube, check out the video there. You guys here on YouTube will have it. Um, and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, because that allows me to create all of this free, amazing content and classes for you all. Okay, so I'm going to start wrapping this up. Do you guys have any questions for me at all? Remember, tomorrow I will be back with a HIT workout, high-intensity interval training. So I'm going to write up a program for you guys to do. I'm going to do it all with you. So I'm going to be sweating and going crazy. 
right here tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be, it's going to be so much fun because I just really need a good hit workout, right? And it'll be still 30 minutes, probably a little bit shorter than 30 minutes, maybe like 28. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. 28 minutes for a hit workout is pretty long. Um, but we are so strong all together. So all of us here pouring our energy together and working out together, we're going to keep each other accountable. We're going to stay motivated energized. It's going to be really fun. I'm actually really, really looking forward to it. Uh, and then remember, if you guys want a daily workout plan, I just released my all in April 30 day plan in the stretchy fit app. And I have doubled the app trial. So that means instead of getting seven days free, which it was before, I doubled it to 14 days. So you get 14 days completely free. You can try out the first 14 days of the all in April calendar. Uh, and then you can have a workout every single day, um, you know, Sunday through Sunday, every single day. And I add new workouts in. And actually this month I added four new hit workouts in there. Uh, last month I added like 10 new workouts. I add new workouts all the time. So I'm always thinking about how I can best serve you guys. Serve all the stretchy babes. And then you get also private um, private live classes from me as well on top of that. So go to actionjacklin.com slash app to check out my app. Get the 14 days free. And join us in the 30-day all in April calendar. Um, it's off to a good start. Everyone was checking in yesterday and it was so awesome. Everyone's committed and, um, it was really cool to see everyone saying that they're in and they're committed. They're all in this month. Um, plus you get motivational emails from me twice a week. It's a sweet deal. If you ask me a really amazing, sweet deal. Um, pretty worth it. Okay. Anyone have any last minute questions that I can help answer? <sighs> I'm going to wait because I know it's delayed. All right. So I'm not seeing anything. I know it's a little bit delayed, but I'm so happy that you tuned in today and you got to um, feel calm in your body and feel in control of your body. And you realize that you are in control of your thoughts. You are in control of the way that you feel, your emotional state. So never feel like you're at the whim of anything. You get to create your own emotional state, how you want to feel, and how you want to create your day in your life every single day. So, you know, we're, we feel like we might be home for the next month. So what do you want this next month to look like? It's up to you. How do you want to experience this next month? How do you want to look back after this month? And what do you want to say about it? What story do you want to tell about the month that you were home? What did you get to do? What did you get to realize? How did you grow? Who were you throughout that time? Uh, so it's all up to you. And together, we can stay strong and motivated and positive and healthy as well. Okay. So everyone, so good to see everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Great job. Great, great, great job. Showing up for yourself is a huge, huge achievement. So I acknowledge you for that. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, oh, Stephen, hello. So good to see you. So how do you hold this feeling you throughout the day? You can um, you can continue. You can come back and watch this video again on YouTube over there. Um, okay, I'm gonna sign off now. <sighs> bye bye everybody.